Hey everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into everything cryptocurrency. Today, we're tackling a big question on everyone's mind, is Bitcoin's price going to crash again? If you're curious about what the future holds for Bitcoin, stick around as we break down the factors that influence its price, revisit its history of crashes, and discuss what could happen next. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. A brief history of Bitcoin crashes. Bitcoin has seen its fair share of ups and downs since it was created in 2009. One of the first big crashes happened in 2011, when Bitcoin's price dropped from about $32 to just $2 in a matter of months. Then, in 2013, Bitcoin hit over $1,000 before crashing down to around $200 by early 2015. The most talked about crash came in 2017. Bitcoin reached an all-time high of nearly $20,000 in December 2017, but by December 2018, it had fallen to around $3,200. These crashes were driven by different factors, from regulatory crackdowns to changes in market sentiment. Factors influencing Bitcoin's price. So, what causes Bitcoin's price to move so drastically? Let's break down some key factors. Market sentiment. The way people feel about Bitcoin can cause its price to soar or plummet. Whether it's a tweet from Elon Musk or a news story about regulation, market sentiment plays a huge role in price movements. Regulation Government policies can have a big impact. For example, when countries like China announce restrictions or bans on cryptocurrency, it can lead to panic selling and a drop in prices. Institutional adoption Big investors like hedge funds and companies can stabilize or shake up the market. If they buy a lot of Bitcoin, prices might go up. But if they sell off, we could see a sharp decline. Technology and security. Issues with Bitcoin's technology, like network congestion or security breaches, can also impact its price. Remember the Mt. Gox hack in 2014? That led to a huge sell-off and a crash. Macroeconomic factors. Things like inflation, interest rates, and global economic stability also affect Bitcoin's price. During uncertain times, Bitcoin is often seen as a safe haven, but that can also make it more volatile. Will Bitcoin crash again? Now, let's get to the big question, will Bitcoin crash again? The truth is, predicting this isn't easy, but there are some signs to watch for. Market Cycles Bitcoin tends to go through cycles of big price increases followed by corrections. After every bull run, a correction usually happens, so another crash is always a possibility. Increased regulation As more governments start to regulate cryptocurrencies, there's a chance this could negatively impact Bitcoin's price, especially if the regulations are strict. Technological risks Bitcoin is still new, and any problems with its technology, or the rise of a better cryptocurrency, could lead to a drop in its value. Global economic uncertainty While Bitcoin is seen by some as a hedge against traditional markets, it's not completely immune to economic downturns. A financial crisis could lead to a sell-off in Bitcoin as people look for cash. So, will Bitcoin crash again? While no one can say for sure, it's clear that the possibility is always there.